Okay, so this is a continuation of the last video. I am still playing with my, what we call them, CF50D. These are the 50 watt cosmic color floods from Lightorama. And what I want to do next is I want to play with the standalone feature. So I go to the sequence editor, and this is the little test sequence I made last time. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and I'm going to extend it out for the full sequence here like that pasty pasty no strobe effects I'm just gonna leave at the very beginning okay so I'm going to save this as Cosmic Color Flood Test. Alright, so I saved that as a file. Now what I'm going to do is I already have my control panel running, so I right click here and I start up Actually, I'm going to close this first because the sequence editor and the hardware editor, hardware utility, don't like to play together. Now I start the hardware utility. And I say auto configure, just make sure I can see. You can see my COM port. It says it's on COM port 3. I hit refresh here. And I have two of the cosmic color floods. Each one has its own built-in controller. One I have as unit ID 1, the other's on unit ID 2. Currently I have them set up on, in Lightorama mode, but you can also run them in DMX mode. And so this is a unit 1. Oh, it only found one unit? What's up with that? Oh yeah, we're back. Hit ref I, I just pushed in on the cables, hit refresh, and they're back. So I'm going to have to check to make sure that I don't have any loose Cat5 connectors. All right, so I have these two units. Now, each one of these can hold a sequence in the hardware itself, which means I could run a show, a little show, without having any computer attached. Now, this would just be animation, but sometimes in the off-season when it's in front of the house, I just want to do some colors. So what I do is I pick which one I want, and I can do either one, and it will control the other devices on the network, so it works like a controller. Um, it is limited to how many uh, commands it can send out. I think it's something like 150,000, something like that. Anyway, I don't have nearly that many, so I go over here to Standalone, and I say Select Sequence. I click Open. I pull up the thing I just saved. Okay, so that selects it. Now I come over here and I hit the download button. And it says, you are about to download a sequence into unit one. The sequence runs any time the unit is on. Is this correct? Okay. See, and now you see it counting. Now after I'm done, I could hit delete to tell it to remove the sequence. Uh, another way to remove the sequence is you open up the, the back panel <coughs> and you set the dip switches to value 12, power it up, power it back off, reset the dip switches, and the sequence will be gone. And then over here, you can have trigger conditions. So you can say run whenever the power is on or run during a set time. <coughs> Excuse me. I do not know when it gets its time from, where it gets its clock from. Uh, input. So you can have, remember it, under that little plastic cover, there is a wire for input triggers. So you can say if it has an open condition or a closed condition, do something. And then here you can test the trigger. Uh-oh. I clicked on that, and I don't think that, and it stopped this. Yeah, when you're downloading, you don't want to be clicking on anything else. I'm going to re-download it again. Okay, so, when this is happening, don't click on stuff. Of course, it has the buttons grayed out, so it should have been okay. Hmm, crazy. Doo -doo -doo. I'm starting to wish I had done a shorter sequence.
Now, the sequence that I saved it had data for both controllers, and so this will control both of my Cosmic Color Flits. I could also have uh, sequencing information in there for a regular old 16-channel CTB controller uh, or, or any other Lightorama controller. Okay, 1600 bytes, 1700 bytes, 18, 19, download complete. Okay. All right, now if I hit uh, the test sequence on, it will start the sequence. And I hit sequence off, and the sequence stops. Actually, it pauses, and then I hit lights off, and then, and then it stops. So let me do it again, and this time I'll videotape the flood so you can see them going. Taping, I hit the sequence on, and voila. So it's doing its little strobe effect there. I had that set up at the beginning, now it goes into its fades. See? And I am not running the sequence editor, I am only running the hardware. So it is running this all by itself. Okay, so come on here. I hit sequence off, and it doesn't really turn off, it just pauses it. I hit lights off, and now they're out. Okay, so now this is all set up. I don't believe I have to save anything. So I exit out, and probably on the next time I power cycle these, Start up. So let's see what happens. Plug in the power. Plug in the power. Ugh. And there they go. See that? All by themselves. We got floods. There's my toys. In color. So really bright. So that is. Whoop! Is that my headphones? So that is running the Cosmic Color Floods in standalone mode. Uh, some of the other controllers allow you to do that as well. And uh, it's highly recommended that you only have one controller on your network doing it at a time, otherwise uh, results may vary.